homeless people live at the end of this cul-de-sac. There's house people right across the street. House people complain enough, then sanitation and police and parking enforcement comes and sweeps the area that just pushes homeless people down to the corner. And then when sanitation leaves and police leave, homeless people have no choice but to come back. We just met Seiko. He works with homeless people. He has a full-time job and he's out here homeless. We're hiding his identity because he just is a little nervous about his employer. I work with the homeless demographic and I'm currently homeless myself. I have a full-time job. I'm trying to save money and get reacclimated to society. The city came and they posted the sign and I had to take off work today so I can move all my stuff, otherwise it would get thrown out. This is the third time that they came this month. The last time they came, they came during the rain, so we lost half, more than half of our stuff. So what they do is they post a sign with the map of the cleanup area that's highlighted in yellow. And so you have to move your stuff off of the yellow line. And so that's usually at the end of the street to the right. So we just move our stuff and we move it back. And so the problem never goes away. We're still here. This is where we live. We're normal working people, just like anybody else, except we have to pack up our stuff every two weeks and move it or we lose everything that we own. I need every cent that I can get, and it just sucks that I had to take off work to save my stuff. We were talking to a neighbor earlier who said, this happens every time. They just move homeless people down the street, and then they come back. What is the point of this? We all want clean streets. I don't want to see encampments. You don't want to see encampments. And the only way to get homeless people out of sight is to get homeless people the housing and the support services they need.